the newest releases from Make Your Mark Global that debuted as number one in two categories on Amazon. So you can get a copy, um, Kindle or hardcover, and of course, paperback. And it features 12 stories of some really brave and amazing people from around the world who have used different methods and techniques to overcome health challenges, from emotional and physical challenges to even healing traumatic uh, experiences from the past. So please do check out a copy of Holistic Healing. There are more interviews uh, on our YouTube channel as well, so that you can really tune in and see what it takes to heal holistically. It's a perfect opportunity for you to give this as a gift to someone else as well. So if you happen to know someone who has not really processed some of their emotions and you know that that's probably what's making them sick or irritated, then this interview is for you. Today I have the good pleasure of interviewing a friend, a colleague. Her name is Delia Sanchez. And she is very unique in that she is a pharmacist, a biochemist, and holds a master's degree in pharmacology. But she, she has transitioned away from just the conventional medical model into energy healing. And she's also a conscious reinvention specialist. You may have seen us together for the Conscious Reinvention Masterclass series. She is amazing. But one of the interesting things is, hey, all of us tend to be wounded healers, at least a lot of the people that I know. We have our own things to process and to, yeah, to process and to embrace, and, and that's okay. We can, we can still be our best self, even as we are in that healing process. And Delia's story really brings that to light. She was at a point in her life where she was ready to go on this beautiful vacation, and yet there was something that was showing up in her physical appearance that was knocking away her confidence. So I look forward to, to sharing a little bit more about that journey because what she has done for herself and now for clients around the world is something that we can all tune into when we are willing to go within, to face our emotions, and to process them the whole body can actually heal itself. And, of course, your body can be more accepting of treatments and therapies. So it's not to say that you have to do energy healing, but we do know that the way that your body responds to chemotherapy or psychotherapy has a lot to do with how much you are really in tune with your heart, your soul, your subconscious mind. So that's a little bit about what this story entails. So without further ado, please welcome my friend, my colleague, Delia Sanchez. Thank oh, you. It's so good to be here. Thank you so much, Dr. Andrea, for this amazing introduction. <laughs> very kind. And it's, um, it's uh, very, very good to be here with you once again to talk about holistic healing. Hey, yes, well, thank you. We can you. spend the whole day. <laughs> yes, we could spend a week doing a nice workshop on holistic healing. But thank you for sharing your story in this book. I know you've had a, a very busy year. We've been working together. So I'm really grateful, though, that you, you took this opportunity to share because I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. Yeah, I, I guess the main thing is that, right? So wh when you think about, okay, what will I share? Mm -hmm. and, and what do I want the others to, and how do I want to inspire others? So it, it's all about the the goal that you want, after all, to inspire. And if I could do it, then everyone can. So really this is i guess was one of the main reasons why i shared shared such a personal story but with a very good reason from the heart mm, and that it is that that heartfelt intention that i know everyone will pick up on so thank you for being vulnerable and open 
let's get into it. So I mentioned in the introduction that you were on this vacation in one of the, the parts of England that you find so beautiful, and yet there was something that was really shaking your confidence. Take us back to that day. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so uh, for for you guys that don't know, I am currently living in the UK, in the south of the UK. However, I, when I have some time, I usually go up north to this beautiful place called Lake District. And whoever is from the UK, you, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't been there, please take a look now and you see maybe add to your travel list for next year. So the Lake District is one of my, what I say, ideal of paradise. It just has everything. So I was I, I when I went there, when I booked that holiday, the reason was because I really wanted to rest. And, and that place was a synonym of that for me. So um, while there, I, I would just enjoy everything, the peaceful surroundings, the greenery, the, the, the hills, the sheep all everywhere, the streams, and it's such a quiet area as well. Dark nights with beautiful skies and stars. So it's, it's really um, a place to recover, to rest, to just be silent. And I was there. Unfortunately, I would say this back then, I would say unfortunately, but after this, I was there just enjoying, but there was something on me that I couldn't hide that was there right there when I would look at the mirror. So I've developed this eczema like around my lips. So no matter where I was, people would look at me, my lips would be the center of the attention in a conversation, or I would always, it would always call my attention, a reflection of me, of myself in the mirror, because it was very, let's say something not nice to have and to look at, very different. Yeah, so um, that's the beginning of it. Yeah, uh, so you, you showed us a picture when we were doing the Conscious Reinvention Masterclass. It literally was all the way around your mouth. So you're, you're right. I mean, it, it's hard to hide, and it certainly would be the center of attention. Yes, and another thing is that back then we were not using any masks, which would be very useful <laughs> back then. <laughs> But then I would be called attention again because of the mask. I would walk with my hands here for you to have an idea of how I was feeling. Mm. And obviously with this, my self-esteem was in existence, yeah. basically. So, yeah, and, uh, and besides that, obviously, all the things that um, it was itchy, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So all of those, uh, let's say, physiological, um, the symptoms of it itself. Yeah. And you had already been to the doctor and you're a pharmacist yourself. So you tried creams and ointments and things to get rid of this eczema. Yes. And I'm, I am the type of pharmacist that I would ever use. A medicine or anything only if it's if it's the last case if it's necessary mm -hmm. so but in this case I was desperate mm. that my idea of, of, of using uh, um, some lotions or creams or anything I, I just accepted I, I surrendered to this because I really wanted to get rid of this and and was also the urgency to get rid of that and no matter which cream i would use lotion creams it won't it, it, it was then it was still there no matter what 
the itchiness would stop, but the the um, readiness, the the um, yeah, so th that would be there all the time. Mm. So yeah. what what happened? When did you have this shift that you realized that this rash was actually due to some unprocessed emotions? Yeah. So I I really at the beginning I had no idea, and. The more I look at it, the more frustrated I would get. Yeah. It was something literally stamped in my face. Mm -hmm. And what what I felt was that I had a very good friend of mine, actually. He invited me to do um, a course. And this was an online course. I was there. There were no excuses. So I say, okay, let's do this, no problem. And, and when a good friend tells you something, then and he, he knows me, so probably it's, it's better for you to do it, right? So you know. <laughs> so I got that. So I started this course, and since the beginning, the words coming from the teacher. Um, mouth and all the ideas around energy and healing and everything and I said what is this how come I never thought about this before <laughs> I, I guess I was too into my pharmacist mind I guess I would never thought about as everything is energy everything is vibration and I would never go there and that was such a, a, a good surprise because she catch me right there. Okay, I can hear you. I, I'm listening. So the course went on and on and on. And then she started to talk about emotions and, and thoughts and negative thoughts and negative beliefs and linking these to disease. And I said, mm, okay, all right. Okay, so I can see this. I can see this. And I felt, I, during the, the course, I also felt an instant connection to whatever was, was she was teaching that at that point. I didn't know if it was a technique. If it, or, I didn't know she, even, she didn't even mention any technique yet, but I was there. And I felt that, oh, I have to, I, I have. I, I'm loving this. I'm totally connected to this. And I want to l go and learn more about this. Hmm. So she created movement. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you're like lighting up internally. It's a totally new paradigm, but it was really resonating with you. Absolutely. Really resonated. And, and, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I also had feelings. I had my heart telling me, or actually when all the, the cells of my body resonating with this. So, wow, it was the aha moment, the wow moment, whatever yeah. you want to call it, was that moment. And I said to myself, that moment right there, I said to, my, I said to myself, Whatever it is, I won't ever stop doing this and learning about this. Well, part of it was you were also learning about the universal laws, right? Yes. So it wasn't, it, 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 so it was not just focused on like healing, but really just how we operate in the world. So tell us a little bit about were there specific things that ha allowed you to? To really work on the emotion side because eventually yes the eczema did clear mm -hmm. up that's what you write about in the yeah. book but mm -hmm. there were a lot of different things going on so tell us a little bit more yeah so uh i i after that i've got in touch with everything let's say everything related to energy energy healing and energy itself so I started, so I came across this universal laws and then it, it, it again resonated so much with me of such a simple ways of living your life based on this laws. 
such as law of attraction, law of vibration, law of correspondence. So I started to live my life by the laws. Everything I would do, I would think, I would think about the law, the laws itself in general, because it's not always just one, but it's a combination of all of them. And, th and these laws, they are, they are here with us all the time. It's like, just like a law of gravity, but we, we just don't think about it. And they are here. So if we tune into these laws, we can really create freedom in our lives because we understand what we're doing and what we want to manifest. So as, as I went along with this, wow, this healing, this holistic healing, if you want to say universe, is really a universe because there's so much, right? There's so much. But I said, okay, I have to hang to something so I can start my journey to doing on myself and then I can start doing in others. I can start using this in others, right? So then I start doing EAM, the energy alignment method. That was one of the techniques that I've learned. So there was one thing along with many others, which really opened my mind and created, um, yeah, resonated so much with me. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think was the biggest shift? Uh, I know that it was a, a gradual process as you were facing all of your own internal emotions. And you mentioned grieving the loss mm -hmm. of your mother. That was a big part of it. Was there any one particular shift where you really noticed that the eczema cleared up in other parts of your life as well? I guess one of the bees, the big um, shift was acknowledging and understanding that this was linked to big, big, big emotions that I haven't deal with before, especially related to my family. And especially because it was literally stamped in my face and this was like saying to me you have to deal with this you have to work with this so i started to look into inside of me to my internal universe and literally deal with everything <laughs> and every piece, every neg negative event that ever happened in my life. And one of them, as you mentioned, was when my mom passed away, that I never grieved for it. I never had the chance to do it. And, and this was after over 10 years. So it was a lot. I was feeling very guilty and I couldn't even look at her picture. So what, what I would do was I would put her picture and I would look every day, every day look and feel and what am I feeling, what is going on, and acknowledge instead of, instead, uh, instead of ignoring what I was feeling. The eczema, it took a few months, you know, as a doctor, you know that this is not something quick to, uh, to, to get rid of, right? So uh, it took a few months, but it shifted my, my attention before my focus was here. And I was on the victim mode, right? So it took my shift my attention from here to, okay, what I'm feeling, what are my emotions, why I, I am so frustrated, why I blame everyone and why I don't, I don't look at me. <laughs> All of those 
things. Yeah. And, and the victim mode. Right. It's yeah. a very, very common pattern. But I love that what you what you are saying is also what you're living now, that it really requires a mind, body, spirit approach. That when we are aligned with the soul, when we can really tune into our heart, acknowledge what we need to acknowledge in the mind, then the body can heal. And I think it's the same approach that we talked about during the life, the conscious reinvention masterclass series. And I know that you feel like that is really what we need if we want to have a long lasting shift, right? Absolutely. And and these three centers, mind, body, and soul, we can never treat them just one of them. They have they have to be a perfect alignment in between them. And and another thing that also we need is order discipline and create a habit because this healing listen whoever is listening anyone you can learn you can do on yourself you it, 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 it is inside of you after all i believe that we are all healers we can all heal ourselves. We just need to tune in inside and close the eyes to the external world and tune in into our own universe, internal universe, because all the answers are there. We just need to look at them. And for that, we need to create a habit. This has to be a regular thing. Thing. It's like you waking up every day at 8 a.m. is my time for this. Whatever you do, meditation, yoga, a, a, just a mindful walk, anything, as long as you don't ignore what you're feeling or what is going on in your life. Yeah. Yeah, those are great principles to recognize and now that you are uh, fully out there in the world offering sessions to people, not just in England, but anywhere in the world, you know, as so many people are offering telehealth and coaching and consultations, um, tell us a little bit about how you approach life reinvention and the kind of energy healing that you're now offering. How how are you doing that as of, you know, as of 2020 with the big shift that we've all experienced? Oh, yeah. So, well, conscious reinvention, the name is there, right? Conscious. I, I really, because I reinvented myself so many times and so you, Dr. Andrea, so we know the feeling. And we, I guess, both of us, we spent so many years trying to, trying this, trying that, trying. <laughs> we did some good, some good things, but also we did a lot of mistakes. I guess. Yes, I admit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me too. So, yeah. So, and then after, after all of this, I thought, okay, this, any reinvention, no matter where in your life, which area has to be conscious no matter what. And the other thing, you have to know your why, your reasons, and ask yourself if that reason can, comes from a place of need or from a place of love. Because there's a big difference there. Um, what is your ultimate goal? What do you want to create in the world? How do you want to, how do you want your clients to feel or whatever? That, that feeling will give you um, a sense of, I, I love this. I love what I do because at, at the end, I get this, this result. Well, conscious reinvention is, starts with a three month because I want to create a habit again I don't want just to do something and then you do it when you want and then you don't do anymore so no 
my goal with this is really to create a habit in my clients. So they know, and we have a, a weekly call. In between calls, I also give them some tasks. So they also work in between calls. And and it's so like I say to them, it's, it's, it's all about you. The pace is about you. The more you work on yourself, the more you trust, the more you believe in what you're doing, you notice, you acknowledge your emotions, the more confident you will be in every area of your life. And you need, and everyone needs this confidence to go on for the next step and the next step and the next step, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so three months minimum, weekly calls. This yeah. is conscious reinvention. And we talk about, it's about healing. It's not your regular uh, reinvention. We do healing. We also do, obviously, a lot of practical things, but also healing. We cannot start a, a reinvention without looking inside you mm. and check your thoughts, your belief, your limiting beliefs and, and things that are really blocking you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that is, that's why I was so excited to partner with you this year, um, because you do go deep to, to the real core of who we are. Uh, and as you say, being the most authentic version of yourself so that as you enter that new relationship or that new job or that new city or country, the real you shows up and you can really, as you say, kind of move from the one level to the next level to the next level. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I I'm enjoying a lot. And thankfully, I, like you said, I've been lucky enough to have clients all over the world right now. I guess the only continent that I'm not reaching at the moment is perhaps Africa. Will we get there? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's been amazing. It's been literally, and, and, and this is, again, when you do something from a place of love, it's a different thing. Yeah. It's a different thing because you know the ultimate goal. You, know, you see your client, the, the shifts, you see the, the, the happiness and you, you see this. And this is, oh, it's all worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Delia, thank you so much for taking some time to share a little bit more of the, the history behind this story that you share in Holistic Healing it's, it's such a joy to connect with you. I'm so excited for being able to work with you and to continue our collaboration going forward. Oh, yes. Dr. Andrea, this, this year it was really, I, I, I can really say that it was a blessed year mm. with so many, you know, um, I can spend another, another hour, I guess, I guess both of us talking about crises and new yeah. ideas and things like this. So it was, um, it was a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me for the book. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be, to partner up with you in some collaborations. And let's see if next year we do something again. Yeah. We'll be Awesome. Thank you so much. My pleasure. So there you have it, my friends. Pick up a copy of Holistic Healing so that you can read Delia's story of how she transformed so many other things besides the eczema on her face. You can visit uh, our YouTube channel or manifest, uh, holistichealingbook.com <laughs> so that you can see all of the other authors as well. So besides Delia, there are 11 other amazing authors who've also shared their stories. Pick up a copy of the Kindle or the paperback or the hardcover, and they make wonderful gifts as well. Until, yes. until we see you again from Delia and, and me, know that we are sending you so much love and deep, deep healing. Remember that you are a gift to the world, so share your presence with passion. Much love. <laughs>